today I'm going to share with you guys some resources and books that we have for nature study. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to nature studies or you're just looking for some new nature study type resources, I have a bunch to show you. Now, I'm not an expert on nature studies at all, which is why I have so many resources because I kind of overdid it and bought everything I could find when I went to the homeschool convention last year. I wanted to make sure that I had everything that I needed to do a nature study. And of course, you don't need all these things. So I want to share with you all the different books that I have and show you what's inside of them and maybe how you can use them in your own nature study this upcoming school year. With us being home a lot more and being outside a lot more, nature studies are a great way to pass time. If you guys are being outside with your kids, it's a great way to have your kids learn about science and about the world around them using these different types of books and resources. Um, here are the books that we used. If you guys are interested in nature studies, I have a few videos um, in the card above that will help you guys to see a little bit of how we do our nature study. We haven't gotten a lot of them on film, but I will this upcoming school year. We'll be having more videos on that playlist for you guys to see how we do it, give you guys some examples, but here it is. Okay, so the first book that I have is called Nature for the Very Young. And if you saw my kindergartner choices, this is what I'm using for her this year. This book covers topics by the seasons, which may be a little rough for us since we live in Florida and we don't have many seasons, but we're gonna try it out and see how it works for us. So when we get started, we'll be talking about time of preparation. And we're gonna be talking about habitat, forest layers, rabbits, seed dispersal, starlings, black caped chickadee, and stone walls. And then it goes into in winter, it's color recognition. In spring, it's sequencing, death and decay. And then in summer, it's body awareness. So this is written to the adult and it gives you a little bit of information about the topic that you're teaching. And then it tells you how to teach it, but it doesn't tell you what to say. For example, it says, go into a forest while the children still chatter, their voices are lower, they crowd more closely around the adult, they keep their eyes to the ground. Some children may even be fearful and talk of bears in the woods. And then it just talks about the different things that you can talk to them about. And it gives you an example of something you might say. Have the children close their eyes and face the sun. So it tells you different things to do, but it's also talking to the adult. So we're gonna check it out and see how we like this resource this year. This is the nature book I'm gonna be using for my older son. It's the Nature Connection, it's an outdoor workbook. We're gonna try to combine these two somehow, but I really like this one. So it talks about how to be a naturalist, things to pack in your outdoor kit. And if we go into the table of contents, it explores nature by month as well. Um, Part one talks about how, how to be a naturalist. Part two is learning about the sky. And then part three is exploring nature and month by month guide. Let's say we start in September. Talks a little bit about the month of September. Has a little quote down here. And each month you have your nature notes. And then activities. Go on a quest. Picture of the month. Talks about grass. Learning your local grasses different types of animals, visit an observatory. So it has field trip ideas, outside activities, craft activities. It even tells you to curl up with a good book and it tells them different books that they can read about. So this one I really like. And if this one doesn't work out, we'll just both jump into this one if we can't combine them. But this one I definitely recommend. I really like this one a lot. It's a whole workbook. So we, it can probably be used for a couple of years since we're not going to be doing it every single day. Another resource I have is Thinking Trees Wild Wilderness Adventure Handbook, which I've done two reviews on, I believe. And in this book, with the Thinking Tree books, your child is supposed to go to the library and grab a handful of books about the topic and then use it to fill out these different worksheets. So here is uh, the section on poisonous plants. They would look up poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, stinging nettle, and then 
draw the pic color the picture talk about why they're dangerous edible plants and there's just a bunch of different topics that goes it goes into the mammals danger danger animals dangerous animals um, different things to use talks about fishing and hunting trapping tying knots and all those things so you could do a whole unit on this you could pair this up with different types of of um survival books this is the nature notebook from the good and the beautiful we started this when he was a little younger my son was a little younger and we'll continue to use it but this has a bunch of different things it also goes by season you have uh, lots of things when you go on your nature walk so you have like fall bingo um, and then it has different questions you go outside and you you sit at a nice place and you just draw and write and observe and I really like this one there's scavenger hunts and rock studies and all kinds of different things that that the kids can do there's even writing prompts use your senses to describe something in nature this really gives up an opportunity to really sit outside and observe everything observe everything that's around them and take it in and a time to pause and really study nature I like this one a lot too. This one we're gonna be using this summer. There's another book to this, Backpack Explorer. This one is the Beach Walk one. And I love these books. They come with a little magnifying glass. I was using this for my little one, but this one I'm gonna use for both of my kids. Um, you have nature field guides, beach fun and games, seaside hunts and discovery zones. So since we live on a peninsula, we are able to hit the beach a lot and tells you different things to bring in your backpack, different beach tips, and lots of things to look out for. So when we go to the beach, we can play these different games. Every time we go, we can look for different creatures or do different activities. And then the kids are able to earn badges. So when you go to the back of the book, you can also have this, um, it says what I did all day, my day of nature discoveries, what I love about the beach, and then the child gets to create their own beach scene using all of these stickers. They can use it on here. And then you have beach patches. So once they learn about different things, like if they learn about sand and stones, and you go to the sand and stones section, they can put their patch here. So in every section they get to put their patch. So I love these books. Okay, so this one is the On the Nature Trail Backpack Explorer. And this one is, we've already gone through this a lot. So the badges, the patches were here. And then as you learn about different things, this is what I used for my preschooler this year for nature study. When we took a nature walk, we used it throughout the whole year. So we, we would study leaves. And once we studied the different kinds of leaves, she would get a patch. You have insects, clouds, squirrels, nature hunt worms, toads, mushrooms, spiders. And then we haven't done this yet. Make a map of your adventure using this and the stickers. You also have these take along guides. There's a series of these. I only have the trees, leaves, and bark. Um, there's a lot of different ones of these so if you guys can go on Amazon and look up take along guides Just click on the link that I have in the description below for this one And you should be able to see all of the other ones that they have So this teaches you all about the different types of trees It gives you tips to find the tree the lifespan and uses the leaves the bark the seeds for every tree that it talks about and how to grow your own tree and different activities in the back. Now these are into the field guides and I believe there's a bunch of different ones of these as well. This one is a walk in the woods and it's a hands-on introduction to cool common critters, trees and flowers and rocks. So if you're going on a nature walk into the woods, you can take this and it talks about the different kinds of trees that they have. And it talks about different seeds rocks and fossils, caterpillars, bugs, all sorts of things with lots of information here. Then we have, I know half of you guys have these books, but this is the Nature Anatomy book. And it has a little bit of everything in it. 
So this one talks about, oh, like I said, a little bit of everything in it. Minerals, the water cycle, North American landscapes, the anatomy of an ant. Just fix that coloring there a little bit. Um, different plants, constellations, sunsets. Uh, like I said, a little bit of everything. My plan is to go through all of these books by the time I homeschool is finished and <laughs> get a chance to really get into all of these books. This book I love. I don't know why my son didn't love it, but it's the Boys Book of Adventure. And it's a little guidebook for smart and resourceful boys. This has all kinds of things. Insects, spike safety, um, every everything. Shells, how to make cool drinks, outdoor travelers, a snail race, races in the winter, all kinds of things in here. There's lots of information and lots and lots of activities for boys to do. I'm hoping that maybe he'll like it this year or maybe next year when he's a year older. This year, actually, nine is probably perfect time for this book. You can see all the different kinds of things. He can make his own wallet, how to protect yourself from the sun if you're out in the heat and you don't have, like, sunscreen, uh, trail signs, rescue techniques, outdoor traveler's toolbox, how to make ha uh, teepees and things like that. This is uh, rain sticks. Like, there's everything in here. I feel like taking a year off and just sitting outside in a tent and just studying nature and using all these books. And that's all we do all summer. I mean, all year round. Wouldn't that be awesome for the whole school year to just, it'd be one big nature study. And then, of course, you have these Christian Liberty Nature Readers. This one is book three. We have book five and book two and maybe one. But these are different books that they have that they're readers. So during your kid's reading time, um, it talks about different things. So this one talks about ants and crabs, I believe. Um, sea stars, jellyfish, barnacles, dragonflies, beetles, and flies. Not crabs. And um, sometimes it talks about them like if, like if they're talking. But it really gives you an inside look into the ways of these different creatures. And, and, and it has a lot of really good information and it's a great way to learn about them. And then there's review at the end of each chapter. So I really, really like these books. I like all these books. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post other videos. And I will see you in our next video.